right, how are you doing? So I'm currently a bit out of breath because I'm in this Gruta de Salamas, a cave in Sintra, Portugal. I've kind of walked through it. I've got some light because I'm next to the entrance there. I'm with Gaia, sweating. I didn't bring a torch, so I've got the, the phone I'm filming this on, and then I've got an old, another old phone with, which I'm using the torch on. But I've, I've just walked through this cave and it goes on for a fair bit. It's quite something. There's another dolmen nearby here, which I wanna go and have a look at. But clearly, this was a place where Neolithic people habited or, or used it a place of ceremony or healing or what have you, but you can definitely feel that ancient presence here. And Guy wasn't able to come with me because there's all these wee nooks and crannies and rocks very quiet and still here. Apart from Gaia breathing away there. But I was really quite surprised how how deep this this cave goes into the bedrock. And it was getting a wee bit narrower the further I went, so I wasn't sure how far I could make it, but I made it to the to the end of the cave. The guy wasn't able to come with me because there's like wee ledges and stuff, but it was absolutely pitch black. Some experience coming to these places, you know. But this this place I can tell straight away. was a place for the ancients. And the ancients, as far as I'm concerned, they, they viewed the earth as a, a living entity. The living earth, mother earth. You know, back then there was no cars or roads or buildings. It was rivers, rocks, trees and, and forest. You know, I think the, the ancients, not so much thing, but this is, this is, what I know, this is what I feel. They saw the interconnectedness of things. They understood everything that was connected. They viewed through those Neolithic eyes and mindset, they saw that the earth is living, which is why I think they built these sacred megalithic monuments all over the planet. They chose the, they chose the locations quite specifically, but the, these monuments are, these monuments are works of art, you know, the earth is a, they saw the earth as a, as, as a kind of canvas and they, these monuments are, are painted onto this canvas of earth, so they're connected to earth, which is why they're so sacred. They knew how to tap into that. They knew how to tap into that energy of the planet. No doubt about it. And the, the deeper I get into this, as I say this inside a, a dark cave, the more, the more I think, the more I believe that these monuments, especially stone circles, it's all about water. You know, we think back then we needed food shelter and water and i don't believe they built these monuments for food or for shelter or dolmens could well be shelter the, this cave this natural cave is is clearly shelter but stone circles dolmens men here's you know the karnak alignments I think it's all related to water. That, that's, that is my feeling. It's all related to water. 
you know, the planet is made up of, uh, what is it, something like 70% water. And it's a very small percentage of that water is actually clean drinking water. I think it's like 1% or 2%. So they had to, they had to find spots where that clean water was, where that deep underground water was. And that's what I think they, they built these stone circles or, or men here, or the Karnak alignments above these, these sacred hotspots where the, the deep underground clean water was. And they chose the stones, the types of stones, for a specific reason. You know, they they, they moved many of these stones d depending on the location, the megalith, for, for many miles. Very specifically brought these stones. So why did they do that? Because the stones have got energetic properties. Granite has, I think, between 10 and 60% quartz within it so that's a very telling thing for me when the, the the quartz reacts with the water something happens that's that's the magic that's the magic so it's for me it's it's about water it's about creating a a healing water drinking water fresh drinking water as I said, food, shelter, water, that's what you need to survive. They didn't build these monuments for food, they didn't build them for shelter. So for me, it's about water, it's about survival. And I'm going to talk a wee bit more about this as I delve deeper into it. But I thought I'd share a few thoughts with you inside this ancient cave here in central Portugal on my lonesome. Gaia! There she comes. So, I hope you enjoyed that, talking to myself in the pitch black in this cave. You can see. So thank you for watching. Tell us what you think, leave us a wee like and comment below. Alright, nice one. Cheers.